Do you want to rotate your data, changing your Excel columns to rows and vice versa? In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can transpose it. And there are three ways you can do this. First of all, let's have a look at using the paste transpose feature. So first of all, what you need to do is select your data. So here's my data. And next, I'm going to just copy it. I could go to copy up here or compress control C, command C on the Mac. Then I'm going to where I want it to be, the top left cell of the destination. And in the home tab, I'll go paste and I'll click on this item, which is transpose. So now everything which has been going across is now going down. Now, when you use this method, there is no link between the source and destination data. So when I change the source data, then the transpose data does not change. What if I wanted it to do so? Well, the next method is using the transpose function. So here I have got five rows and four columns. So I'm going to copy my data and then I'm going to highlight where it's going because it was five rows. It's now going to be five columns because it is four columns. It's now going to be five rows. So now I type up in here equals transpose and then I'm going to highlight the array. So the range, the source, in this case, B5 to E9. Now in previous versions of Excel, you then have to press the control shift and enter keys because it's an array formula. You can do that in the latest version or you can just press enter. It's your choice. So now you can see that the transposition has happened just by using the one formula equals transpose and then in brackets what you're transposing. This time, if I do change something in the source data, then the destination data changes as well. But maybe you want more control of what you're doing. Well, we can use formulas. So what I'm going to do is highlight this again, go to an intermediary target. So this is a target before the target, so not the final destination. And I'm going to go to the paste special dialog box. Now I can also do this by pressing Control, Alt and V or Command, Control and V on the Mac. Now I'm going to paste the link. So what this does, this creates a series of formulas. So far, so good. But I don't want formulas at this stage. I just want text that refers to this. So what I'm going to do is highlight this intermediary target and press Control and H. This is Command H on the Mac. So I've got the find and replace. And I'm going to change the equal sign to some text in the equal sign. That way, this is no longer a formula. And I'm going to click replace all. So now we have got things that look like formulas, but which aren't quite. Now I'm going to transpose this. So I'm going again to the transpose button, or I can go into paste special and transpose. So now we've got these things that look a bit like formulas transposed. So here we have B5, C5, D5, E5 running across. Here we have B5, C5, D5, E5 running down. So now what I need to do is highlight this area, this new range, control H and do the opposite. So replace HS equals with equals. Why HS? Well, why not? It just needs to be some text. Click replace all. And now we have individual cells with individual formulas. So this could be quite useful, say, if you wanted to insert additional rows or columns. You can't do that with the transpose. If I try and do that with the transpose function, so I try and transpose this, I can't insert additional columns. It just won't happen. So here are three different ways to transpose. Now you may have some other questions. You may be asking, okay, how do I convert multiple columns to rows in Excel? Well, you can't actually transpose a column. 
And the reason for this is a column that goes all the way down to over a million rows. But going across, there's not a million columns. So I can't do that. However, I can highlight different columns, parts of different columns, by going to the part of a column, so the data, and then hold down Control, Command on the Mac, and highlight other ranges. I can then copy the data, and then I can transpose it as I wish. Now, is there a way to do only this without using the mouse? I can. Well, I can use Control and C to copy, and then go down and press Control, Alt and V. Press E to transpose and enter. So you can do it without the mouse. Now, suppose you've got this in a chart. So if I insert a chart, how can I transpose the rows and columns? Well, I can do that by going to Chart Design and Switch Row and Column. Or I can do this by selecting data, which I can also get to by right hand clicking and going to Select Data. And there is also a switch row and column guide. I hope you found this useful. If you do, please have a look at my Udemy courses where you'll find these and many more tricks. And my courses also follow the official requirements for Microsoft's certifications. So after doing my courses, you could enter and hopefully pass the official Microsoft exams and get an official certification. Wouldn't that look good on your CV or resume? Thank you very much for watching this and keep learning.